Hello YouTube world, uh, Matt here again, um, just giving you an update on my gastric sleeve surgery. It's now been two months exactly since I started my pre-surgery diet, um, that's been since the 24th of November I started that and then did the weight loss surgery on the 8th of December. I'm currently over 22 kilos down in weight, um, which is great. But I wanted to talk to you about some positives and some negatives and I guess kind of regrets sometimes. Um, I mean, I don't regret having the surgery, but I just sort of, I'll explain it anyway. Some of the positives, the, the positives are, are really good. Like I'm, my wife, she likes me. She likes me a lot. I'm, I'm helping out around the house. I'm, I'm playing more with the kids. I'm, I'm just generally, a much happier person to be around. Um, I guess with losing the weight, it sort of it makes you feel pretty good, and it, it gives you gives you something to wake up and smile about every day when you get on the scales and you try on your clothes and they're too big, and you're just like, yes, this is great. Um, plus, you know, I've stopped snoring. Uh, I don't snore anymore, so she's getting a better night's sleep. I'm getting a better night's sleep. Across the neighbors are probably getting a better night's sleep. Um, so yeah, things are things are pretty good like that. Um, my energy levels are definitely increased. You know, I'm I'm finding it easier to to just do stuff. You know, little little simple things like get outside, play with the kids, go for a walk, park in the car at a shopping center. Now I don't try and find the closest spot to the door. I'll just park wherever. I don't care. I'll just get out and walk. Um, driving along with the kids today and I saw a park and I said right bang let's stop let's go let's go play with the kids and jump out and run around and dance with them and do whatever they want to do and it's just you know it, it's really good it definitely um, gives you a whole new lease on life some of the negative things and regrets um, and, and I say regrets but you know it's sort of I don't, I don't regret the surgery I'm, I'm definitely happy with what I've done um, but I have moments where I regret it and, and, and it's times like um, I get uncomfortable uh, when I've eaten the wrong food. Uh, things like bread, rice, carbs, like I'm, I'm just pretty much staying away from them now. I've learnt the hard way. I get really bad hiccups if I had, I had some like the sushi rolls with the rice and it gave me really bad hiccups. I was driving, I had to pull over and vomit just to get it out of me, it was, it was horrific. Um, and you know, that, that, that sucked. Uh, it's not something that's pleasant. Um, bread and pasta have also given me the same sort of feeling. So I'm just cutting them out now. I don't really want to eat those things. Um, you know, it, it can it can be hard sometimes when you're sitting around, everybody else is eating food and you're, you're like, right, well, I'll just, you know, have my rice biscuits or, you know, have whatever you're gonna have. Um, and one of the regrets I have is like, you'll be eating something that you really enjoy or you used to really enjoy and you still do. And you'll start eating it and you're like, oh, this is so good. Then you just can't eat it. Because if you do, you're uncomfortable or you're gonna vomit or or whatever. And, and it can't, it's, it's hard. It's, it's hard to get your mental game around food as far as the way you used to eat, even the speed you eat at, you know, like I, I eat food now sometimes too quick and I'm just sitting there just going like, oh God, why did I do that? That that sucks, um, you know, and, and it can be really hard when everybody else is, is just going, oh my God, how good is this food? I'm enjoying it so much. I just, you know, how good's your food? And I'm like, yeah, whatever. Um, but um, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's something I'm still learning and you've just gotta to, gotta to keep going and you know, remember the, the positives and, and some of the positives are as well. I've written a couple of things down because I just I'm hopeless at remembering this sort of stuff. But um I'm back at the gym and I'm loving it. You know, I go to the gym now and I can run on a treadmill. Uh, you know, run for four or five minutes and walk really fast, do do the best I can. Um, swimming, I'm I'm in the pool swimming, I'm um, doing weights and I love doing weights and I still find it amusing the guys that go to the gym you know all puffed up and stand in the mirror and check themselves out and do all this sort of stuff it cracks me up but um that's my little amusement while I'm there anyway but uh 
Yeah, it's 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 there's some really good parts of it. Um, the the weight coming off, I've had a couple of times where it's just plateaued, like it's stopped, and it stopped for like a week or two weeks, and I've gotten really concerned, thinking, right, is that it? Am I done? I'm only a couple of months in. I'm like, surely this is not the case. And it's because I've like not eaten well for a couple of days, um, and I've said it in the past. This is this is not a magic pill, you know. You don't just have this surgery, and <coughs> excuse me, and everything gets back to normal, and you know you just eat whatever you want, whenever you want. It's not like that at all. You still have to have healthy choices. You still have to eat healthy food. You could eat crappy food every day, and you know not lose weight or or even gain weight in some people's case. Um, so. You know, I'm eating nuts and I'm eating a lot of dry food. I found dry food goes down quite well. And the whole not having a drink half an hour before or half an hour after, I just can't do that. You know, like I have to have a drink of water. And a couple of times I've drank too much and I've thrown it up. Um, so now that's why I'm finding dry foods are quite good because I can have a sip of water straight after I've eaten and you know, fresh in my mouth and, and sort of just get that little bit of fluid in me and, and keep going. I have had a couple of bad experiences. Um, I do a quite a physical job. I'm, I'm a carpenter and I, I build houses and I've you know, been doing bathroom renovations and all sorts of things like that. And I've gotten back to work earlier than the doctors have suggested, but you know, I just, I needed to get back for you know financial reasons. And just because I was going crazy sitting in the house doing nothing all the time, and I felt like that was contributing to my weight loss slowing down. So I've gotten back to work, that's all great. Um, but I've had, uh, this week, I had a couple of moments where my body just almost shut down, like my muscles just went into spasm in my back, like I was in a lot of pain. I couldn't uh, I couldn't continue, I had to pack up and, and go home. Um, and started taking magnesium pills, which, have helped. Um, I've been told that when you lose a lot of weight rapidly, that uh, your muscles can, um, you know, cramp up and you get toxins in your muscles, and that that causes them to spasm and cramp. And you know, I've learned that the hard way. But um, it's just going to come down to drinking as much water as I can, as often as I can, which can be hard because your stomach's now that big compared to being that big. Um, so. You know that that um, that that makes it difficult. Um, a couple of the other things as well, I'm sort of still learning is of alcohol. I've tried alcohol a couple of times. Um, I've had a beer here and there, and I can have a beer and it tastes great and it actually goes down okay as long as I have small little sips um, and you don't try and drink like I used to and you know drink half a bottle in in one go. Um, I haven't gotten drunk. I just find it really hard to keep drinking um, before the surgery I could have a beer I could have six beers in in a matter of an hour no problem because I would just sort of feel thirsty and keep drinking and drinking whereas now it takes me about an hour to have one beer and I just don't feel like it after that I'm almost like oh, I can't be bothered starting another one it just takes too long um, it's probably a good thing I never really drank much before but it is summer here at the moment and it gets pretty bloody hot and after working a hard day's work I want to come home and have a cold beer and watch the cricket or sport or whatever and um, that's just not happening anymore. So I decided to start with some scotch. I started, I thought, yep, okay, I can, you know, I'll have a straight scotch on the rocks and uh, took a sip and it went down and it kind of burnt. It was kind of pretty harsh. And mind you, I'm only just now six weeks out of the surgery, so I probably shouldn't be drinking, but, mate, life, life can, you know, Push you to drink sometimes um, so I had it with a bit of uh, a bit of coke zero you know no calories and stuff like that and it went down all right uh, again I got you know one glass in and I felt a bit tipsy and I was like okay this is not too bad two glasses you know about the same by the end of the third glass I was like I was just over it I was like yeah I, I can't be bothered I just you know I wasn't enjoying myself I wasn't wasn't really into it it just wasn't wasn't happening for me so Drinking is still a um, bit hit and miss, and you know, I'm I'm not a quitter, so I'll I'll have another crack at it, and you know, see if I can improve. Um, watching other people eat, okay, that can be traumatizing sometimes, I suppose. Um, 
you sit down to a meal, whether it be with your family or with friends or whoever, and you eat your tiny little portion of food and everybody sits there for another half an hour gorging themselves and eating this awesome food in front of you and you just kind of sit in there going, yep, okay, um, that can be frustrating and awkward is, is one word I would say. It can be awkward at times because you sort of just don't know what to do with yourself. You're just sort of sitting there watching people and, you know, It'll get easier, I'm sure. I'm sure I'll find ways of coping with that, you know, keeping the conversation flowing or doing whatever. Um, I have vomited a few times. I've eaten too much today. Um, I took my kids to a pancake parlor and I got off the kids' menu one pancake with ice cream and I started eating it and I was like, yeah, this is going down all right. Um, probably shouldn't be eating that sort of stuff, but you've got to... You've got to live life and you've got to treat yourself every now and then. You can't just, well, that's how I live anyway. And anyway, I ate this this pancake. It was, you know, about that big um, and a little bit, one, one dollop of ice cream. And I got sort of halfway through it and I looked at the quantity and I thought, that's probably all I should be eating. But I didn't feel full and I kept eating. I ate the whole thing and I regretted it big time. I actually came home and vomited felt really sick had to lay down i'm not sure whether it was because it was just too much sugar my body hasn't had that much sugar in a while and i sort of crashed and burned pretty hard um definitely regretted it then so that's what i'm talking about with regrets like i don't regret the surgery i regret my choices of food since the surgery um and sometimes you know if you're having this surgery you've probably been like me and not been able to make the right choices food wise if you did you wouldn't need the surgery um, that still comes into play you know I, I watched a video the other day of a really big guy who lost a lot of weight and was saying that his appetite's gone he doesn't you know feel hunger anymore I do um, I still want to eat I still need to eat I feel a bit acidy and you know indigestion in, in the stomach uh, or in the chest like where my stomach is now um, and I still yeah I definitely need to eat you know I get up in the morning I eat healthy like I have a banana for breakfast and some water and then I eat like, some nuts and some dry biscuits and stuff throughout the day and I do pretty well through the week um, the weekends and that can be hard because it's sort of you know old habits I guess you, you go out of the house you go to the shopping center you walk through the food court the kids want to eat your wife wants to eat they all get whatever they want. You're sort of looking around going, well, what can I eat? And it's it's really hard. Um, unless you take food with you, you end up eating shit. Uh, stuff you wouldn't usually eat. Yeah, well, you would usually eat, but you wouldn't since the surgery. And um, I don't like it. I don't like going out. Um, so yeah, to sum it all up, the positives, my wife likes me. I like me. I'm happy with who I am. Um, I'm definitely feeling good. Um, my energy's up. Oh, one thing I didn't mention was clothes shopping. Um, I have a love-hate relationship with clothes shopping. I like buying new clothes, but I hate, I hate shops that sell clothes. They, they, they piss me off. Um, I walked into a shop today to try and find a short sleeve shirt for summer. And all the mannequins, you know, that you look in the window and they've all got these, you know, tight fitting shirts and you think, well, I don't have a body like that. And then you walk in the shop and the mannequins have got the shirts pinned behind their backs because, well, let's face it, nobody has a body like that. It's ridiculous. Um, and I, I go to buy like a two extra large shirt and I'm not that huge. Like I'm probably, this shirt here is a 1XL um, and the next shop I walk into, I try on a 2XL and it's too small. I walked into, I don't know, I couldn't tell you how many shops trying to find a decent, just plain looking, um, you know, short sleeve shirt for summer to wear with shorts or jeans or whatever. And I just, I still haven't found one because everything's either too small um, or basically the fashion that's out there at the moment, it's just hideous and <laughs> I don't like it. Um, it's, it's hard. Clothes shopping in Australia is just, I feel like I'm too old to be shopping in the young people's 
clothes and too young to be shopping in the old people's clothes. It's, um, it's good that I need to buy new clothes, but it sucks that I have to buy new clothes because I, you know, I don't like a lot of what's out there. Um, yeah, so uh, I think that's it. Um, thank you for listening. It's been great watching everybody else's videos and if you're looking at doing this surgery, do it. Like, I've had people say to me that they think what I've done is extreme and my response to that is to do nothing and just keep getting fatter and unhealthier and die young, that's extreme. To go out and get this surgery done, to better your life, to show that your children that, that you can be fit and active and healthy and eat good food and make good food choices. That's not extreme, that's smart. So you're gonna get people that are gonna think that they know better than you, stuff them. Who cares what they say? I've actually had a bit of negativity from someone quite close to me, you know, a family member that's struggled with their weight as well and it's not so much negativity, it's just I haven't had any positive reinforcing from them. They've sort of almost been a bit jealous and a bit like, yeah, whatever, I don't care. You know, I work my ass off trying to lose weight and you've just gone and done this thing and you're losing weight and everybody's patting you on the back and good for you and, you know, it's it upsets me that it's, you know, someone I, I care about quite a lot that doesn't give me that support. Not everyone's gonna. Some people are gonna get pissed off that you're doing so well and so happy and you know not much you can do about it just focus on yourself being happy and the reasons why you're doing it because my reasons are for my children um, there's a you know a family history of weight loss related illness and death and I'm not going down that road you know I love my kids so much I, I, I would I would die for my kids but I want to live for my kids you know that's why I'm doing this so um, Whatever your reasons are, just do it. Just You won't regret it. Um, it. It will be tough, like I'm only a couple of months in. I'm sure my next video, I'm positive. It will be more positive and have a lot more positive things. But I'm, I'm here to tell you everything, you know? Like, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I'm gonna be straight up and, and tell you the good, the bad, and the ugly. Um, hope that you have got something out of this, and thank you for watching, and till next time, Take it easy. It's also Australia Day this weekend here, so I'm gonna try and have another beer and celebrate Australia Day, have a barbecue, um, have a little something small to eat and just, just play with the kids outdoors and, and have fun. So take care, peace.